Well, making the next step in progress with this guy, the street cub. I gotta say, I wasn't confident enough to do the front end work on this safely. I can weld, but I don't know, not, not good enough. So I gotta take this hot rod to my buddy Greg. He's, gonna, he's got the front end cut and uh, he's, he needs the frame to mock it up. So I'm gonna load that sucker up. Build a bridge? <laughs> I don't know, let's try it. So Greg's gonna explain what he did here on his front end. <clears throat> So we just built some spacers, obviously, for the, uh, for the axle assembly. With moving this out for the tire clearance, uh, drilled and tapped this to a 10 by 125 uh, for the stop for the brake drum. Um, and then the same thing on the other side, some spacers, obviously, to even it out. Perfect. Yeah. Sweet. And then cut the front end. Yep, cut the front end. You're going to just weld a piece I'll weld this. Uh, I'll weld the crossbar in it, uh, put the stem in, and then gusset this stuff up on the top, and then weld the, a front plate on it over here. Heck yeah, I'm glad you know what you're doing. Yep. Today is a mega ultra special day. I'm picking up the street cub at my buddy Greg's house. He welded up the front end, and uh, it's all done. It just needs to be painted. Can you believe it? Episode six of the Honda Street Cub Build Series happening right now. Cue the intro. What up YouTube? Episode six going down. It gets dark at like seven o'clock now, so. Doing it in the garage with the garage shut and it's echoey. Greg was nice enough to put this whole front end together lightly with um, just like no bearings in it or anything just so I can get it home as a complete bike. What I need to do is I just need to pull apart the whole entire thing. That way we can start fresh as if it was never installed. So I'm gonna do that. By the way, look at this hell of a job Greg did. Great job. He's got spacers up in here, you know, for the brake. He's got the, spa the axle spaced. He went above and beyond for sure on this. Um, everything's welded, really good. He widened it. The, guy's, the guy knows his stuff. There's even spacers back here. But I need to get this apart um, so I can change out the bars, put bearings in, things like that. I was gonna go with these type of bars here um, I know in some of the other episodes I mentioned I was going to keep all of this stock, but I am having a heck of a time trying to find these bottom pieces here. It's very, very hard to find. And uh, in a way, I think that the other bars might look even better. Well, this is what I've got so far. So I've just cleaned up these races. I, um, let me show you what I did here. This right here was connected. Notice there's no bearings in there or anything like that. Uh, and then there, there was a race here. So between those two pieces, there's supposed to be bearings, which I have right there. And uh, same with under here. So I've, I've cleaned the races up. I gotta put the bearings in, but at the same time, I also pulled off this contraption, slid that out of there. That's gonna need to go back on the front end at some point so that I can, you know, once the, the race goes over the top. And then, once I get that all set up, you got these numbers, one second, right here. These go on there, and this spacer. And then from there, actually I don't know if I'm gonna use that or not, this is all first time for me. I bought this stock, I believe it's like three and a half inches. I'm gonna drill my own holes here so that I can mount these right here on there. And then we can put our bars on there. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but that's my idea. To, for starters, this is all brand new to me. Never done this before. But my goal today is to get it 
off of this stand. Oh, and by, by the way, don't be afraid to give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> I got this Indian, like, Coca-Cola, thumbs up cola. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> While I'm on the subject of uh, different countries watching my videos, I definitely want to say thank you to everybody in the U.S. Um, but Thailand primarily watches this video. Kap Kun Kap, that's thank you. And uh, Arigato, Japan, Japan's second in line. And then you got Indonesia that is big on it. And that's uh, uh, Makasi Banyak. Thank you, all of you, for watching episode six. All right, now I need to painstakingly install all of these loose bearings that are gonna go everywhere unless I take that grease and use it as like a glue. And I'm just gonna place these in line, same with up here, real nice and easy with the grease that'll hold it in. And uh, then I'll be ready to very slowly lift this guy up. And uh, you know, I'll, of course I'll put my seat in there like that locking the bearings in and uh, cranking it down so that those will stay for another, what is this, 1980? Another like 35 years or something. I just realized I need grease. It's 9.30 at night and I need grease. Everything's got grease. The bearings are all placed in there. I just have them packed in as, as good as possible with the grease. Now, I have to do real nice and easy, put all this back on. So I've got this, uh, this here, it's the race. Stick that down there, just like that. And then I'm gonna lift up and that'll go over the top. I'm going to take this jack, let's lower it down. Easy does it. Just got to go nice and easy here. See what's going on here? So I've got the, the top locked in and I'm just cranking real nice and slow. That'll uh, find its little way in. I might have to give it a little jiggle. We'll see what happens. Smooth as butter. Smooth as butter. There's the steering stops Greg, Greg installed. Check that out. Perfect. And I'm just gonna snug this up. If you ever, if you, when you do this, you always just wanna snug it up you know, fairly tight, but not so dang tight that it, it kind of starts working on the uh, bearings. You want to be able to turn it. They all, you always say that you you want it to bounce one time. See how it keeps continuing to bounce? Whenever you flop it, you want one bounce. Here's that one bounce I was talking about. That's almost two, but it's it's still good. Now what? Shoot, I don't know. By the way, I have this little tripod. Uh, if you've seen in my last video, the, the gimbal. It follows me, so I can film by myself. This is my cell phone, by the way. If it looks crappy, let me know. I'll use my little, like, uh, this guy, the DSLR. But for now, we'll use that. Actually, you know what? One thing I need to do This is a uh, part of like hold, having the front end be stable. So that's just gonna go over the top here. And then I've got some spacers. I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Spacers that Greg created here, like this. I just have to put these in there. I'll probably, you know, I should probably put some Loctite on it. Here's the other one. 
a little, a little bit tighter to fit. So on this handlebar setup, there's all kinds of different like little adapters and things like that, like like this one and this one and this one and this one and the one I just installed. So I I'm doing this my own way here. So I'll, I'll use this rubber dampener, which would be sweet for you know vibration purposes. I'll put that on there. I'll probably leave that. I'm not sure. It probably the only reason why would be because of the you know, the space, I need to have the space of above. And then I, I have this plate that's gonna go over the top of that there. Uh, well, what I did was uh, I took this, it took me some time to line it up, but I did something like that and made a template. The first thing I'll do is cut a hole there so I can slide that down and then it'll give me a really good idea I'm kind of trying to have it hang over just a tad and then uh, then we'll see what happens from there. But from that point, um, I have these triple trees. I'm going to mount to that. I'll have to, you know, line this up, you know, the lines there to try to make it work. But in the end, I should have these handlebars over the up there, which should look pretty cool. And the other thing that I'll need to do is uh, I'm going to need to paint this, but I'm going to have the cover over it. Just paint it purely so it doesn't rust. Well, day 483 of the Honda Street Cub build episode six. Um, I've got these. So I got the drill bits, the drill, the metal with the pre-traced holes. Now I just need to cut the holes. Can somebody say drill press? Yeah. I need a drill press. Make this a lot easier. Um, it's obviously not the straightest. And that's the biggest drill bit I have. So I'll just keep proceeding with the Dremel tool, I guess. I say screw it. I need to do this right. I'm gonna go get the drill bit that I need. Big son of a gun. I'll just bring this uh, this one with me, this piece. Match it up. So far I've got it all matched up pretty good. I, and as far as this oval deal goes, those are perfect. As far as this goes, I don't need to make this oval. All it does is uh, takes this front brake cable and then you slide it through. There's plenty of room there. I don't need to do anything else. Of course, I need to chamfer the edges so it's not doesn't look like crap, but that's what I'm gonna do. Fifty American dollars. Jesus, it'll get the job done though. I think I'll, this is like having like kind of like having this whole setup. Oh, by the way, when your neighbors look at you and you're talking to the camera like you're freaking nuts for YouTube, kind of weird. Oh yeah, check it. Let's see this how this fits here. Perfect, everything lines up. Now, I need to, I've got these things, and I need to basically mark these so that I can adapt how these are gonna go on. All right, I got the plate mounted, kind of like rough draft, I haven't painted it or anything. And uh, I have these handlebars, I've got the spacing all correct see um as far as like how far apart the triple trees are going to be so i have them perfect you know here's the top view that looks decent 
And uh, geez, a lot of work to figure this uh, the logistics out on this guy. So, found this little spacer. This is gonna be the perfect size because then it will clear the, uh, the triple tree uh, nut. It'll be perfect. Um, I've already tested it out. So I just need to get like, like four of these spacers and then uh, some nuts. I'm gonna have to definitely get, get up under here once that's done and uh, get, some, get rid of some of this rubber or something because I need to get a nut up underneath here. So. Damn. It was $17 in bolts looks like and spacers. Sheesh. All right, so what I've done here is Got a bunch of these spacers, and uh, so I have everything measured, pre-measured. I took this uh, this little guy, kind of like measured so it was perfect all the way around. Well, it went all the way around, and basically, every all of my measurements are there in order to get those. Uh, where is my? Here it is. Get, get my clamps on there. So everything's centered and perfect. That took a long time. Then I've got, well, of course I got these screws that'll go in here like this. You know, that'll hold that down. But I've got these spacers, just like this. There's four of them. Underneath my clamps, just like that. I need to dr basically drill the holes here and then uh, that'll be like the next step. Talk about a huge amount of effort to get this going. Probably would've been better off buying my own. Oh well. This thing is hotter than the flames of hell. And I'm just gonna chamfer all these real quick and then I'll, I'll be ready to try it out. Here we go, everything is chamfered. Perfect. Let's try it out. What? Check it. Oh yeah. You gotta see this. This, this is gonna be sweet. I just have to paint it, but check it out. Look at that, huh? The only thing that's a little weird is like the letters are upside down <laughs> on one side. I don't know what that's all about. Probably just take those lettering that lettering off. But that is looking slick. That was my OCD kicking in. <laughs> now that I have room for so many activities, let's get back to work. So I'm pretty sure that these uh, connector or these um, controls are a lot smarter than seven eighths. I need to find that out. Otherwise, my backup plan is I'll use Ruckus, some Honda Ruckus um, controls. So we'll see what happens. I need to tear this down. Hey, 1982, congratulations. We have came up in the future, 2018, with actual connectors. Look at this, holy crap. Look at all these connectors. So I've got this thing off. I think these are smaller than seven eighths. I'm gonna have to measure, I'm pretty dang sure it is. Um, let's see the difference. Yeah, quite a bit, quite a bit smaller. So, yeah, turns out I'm probably gonna be using the Honda Ruckus controls just because uh, they'll mount and you know, I've got a, both brakes or the handbrake for the, mainly the handbrake for the, uh, with the throttle. That'll be perfect to ruckus one because uh, most of them are hydraulic, but the ruckus is a cable driven just like this one. So gotta go get that. This Speedo is sweet. I wanna make like a, I don't know, a lamp or something. 2,600 original miles on this thing, 2,685. Pretty cool but we'll be upgrading it with 
This guy, oh yeah. How, I don't know. We'll check that out later. So I've got the throttle cable and the choke cable, and then the, down there, the uh, front brake cable. I'm not gonna need the choke because I'm gonna do fuel injection. Uh, so I'll probably pull that out, out of the way there. Um, this is still tacky, but I think I'm still, I'm just gonna like start putting it together, just being careful. I can't wait. I'm like a kid on Christmas. So I got everything like pre-installed uh, here, including, if you notice the, the thread, I just like kind of like pinched them between there and the rubber. Sorry, the light was in the background. Between there and the rubber. So I'm, I'm pretty much ready just to simply install this sucker. Should be a pretty easy install. Let's do it. Should go real easy, hopefully. Yep, yep it's going good. Going real nice and easy. Uh oh, uh oh. Don't do that. Thing about fell off. Shit. Okay, now we'll just look at it. Just look at it. Would you just look at it? Just look at it. There's our profile. I'm totally ready to push this thing off. You know what? One thing about me that's different from the rest of the world, I don't like working on lifts. I have it on there, you know, I like it up until like this point, but other than that, I gotta get this off the lift. I wanna roll it off, it gives me a better idea how it feels, I can sit on it, and uh, yeah, let's just get it off the lift. Talk about so much room for activities. I'm gonna have a dance off right here. Look at this. Damn. Does it look like so small now? Jesus. It's like a little thing. It's been sitting up so high I hit the wrong idea how tall it is. Let me let me do it. Let me do a B-roll. Here we go. Pretty decent. I wish that this lettering wasn't upside down. I'll probably just carburetor clean it off or do something to get it off. Um, but yeah, it's got a good stance. I really wish you could have used the stock setup on the front headlights, but man, I could not find those. Basically, this lower, this lower is what I was looking for that whole time. See how this is all busted up? I couldn't find one no matter what. It seemed like this thing's heavy duty though. This. This, these bars, they're sh this uh, metal is sharp as shit too though, you gotta be careful. This is back when they made quality stuff. Now it's all plastic. Well that's plastic over there, but mainly metal. I wonder how the new Street Cub's gonna be, or the Honda Cub. It's gonna be like all metal or just plastic. All right, well, it's raining now and uh, episode six has come to an end. I do have these that are gonna go on the bars and um, these little switches here. I was gonna use the ruckus switches, but I decided against it. Episode six, we covered the whole front end. We got the bars on, a lot of work. Actually like three months worth of work. <laughs> I mean, it's not working on it every day, but when I have free time. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit the little blue bell that's right on the side so you can get notified when new videos come out. And, uh, you know, our, my Instagram needs help. Facebook needs help. I do a lot of pictures when I can't do videos. You'll see that. But head over there. Appreciate you watching. Kapkun Kap. Makasi Banyak. Arigato. And thank you.